What's going on, y'all? Back again, another episode of the Leak, and I'm here today. Special day, my dad. It's my dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Swayze. Bye, Swayze. Swayze, what's good, man? I'm doing very good. What's chilling, good with chilling, you, man? Chilling, man. How, I mean, how, how does it feel? How does it feel? It's your birthday. What's, what's going on? Oh, uh, man, to be honest. Your boy just turned 24. Okay. You know, so it's that Kobe year. Oh, know? okay. So I see yeah. you're killing so it this year. I'm about to kill it this year, man. Be careful, because you know, know. them ankles. I know, boy. I know, I know. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, so, I mean, so what's good, man? Tell me what's, what's going on, man. What's, what's um, been the news? Truly, it's a, it's a blessing to be here. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for the opportunity. For sure. Um, once again, my name is Swayze. Swayze by Swayze is my brand that I'm creating, of course. Um, you know, I'm a producer and an artist as well, so I'm trying to pave my own way. I'm trying to bring back that originality of creating your own beats in the house. Of course, everything is recorded in my room. Mm -hmm. um, so I got some shit that's coming, man. You know, I, I've just been working. I've been putting some work in, and I got more coming in stores for sure. I mean, I just dropped my EP, though. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swayze season. Yeah, I just dropped my yeah. Yo, that, Swayze season, man. We're going to talk about it. We're going we gonna, we gonna to get to yeah, that. We're gonna get to yeah. that. Um, you just came back from L.A. Yes, I did. How was that? LA was amazing, to be honest. It's one of those things that I would really promote every artist that want to become something or anything in the industry. I would really suggest you guys go to California if you haven't already. Um, it, it just, it kind of brings you back to why you're doing it. You know, you see the tall trees, you taste the air, you know, like Friday, taste it up, you know? <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> you just, I don't know, man. It kind of, it kind of just makes you feel like, this is what I'm working for. Okay. And I went out to Cali, you know, I did a music video out there. Right, right, right. I just dropped my music videos on YouTube. Um, I met up with some people I recorded out there as well. Okay. And it was just working with different engineers, different yeah. producers as well. It kind of was a different vibe that made me want to strive even more to get to that homeland and live there. You know what I'm saying? So, so California was amazing. That's a move you trying to make so? Like, oh, yeah, I mean... I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know right now as far as moving there this year. Yeah. Really, I want to dominate locally before, right. as far as Broward County, as far as Miami, West Palm, you know, the three Tri County, you know. Um, yeah, I, I just want to dominate there first before I move on and go like anywhere else. You know, this is my home. This is where I'm from. But LA is definitely that move for me. I want to live there. You know, so. All right. So let's get into Swayze season. Um, Your weight is a single. Yeah, man. Talk to me about that. Your weight. Uh, I got a song called Yo Wait. Yo Wait, please appreciate. Please appreciate. Got that. I am feeling great. It's one of those. People kind of compared it to the whole Playboy Cardi, you yeah. know, the whole Nami. Yeah. I was about to, that. I was about to say, as listening to, I get yeah. like that bounce, that yeah. bounce, yeah. that Playboy Cardi bounce, yes, like exactly. from you know, exactly. from the beats that you, because I'm pretty sure you did, you did. The yeah, I, I added. All right, so to be completely honest to all my viewers as well, Yo Wait was an actual joint project that I made with somebody okay. that's overseas. This oh, person's okay, in okay. Japan. You feel me? So shout out to Chase. You know. Um, he, he, I kind of met him when I did my A3C tour in Atlanta. Yeah. And I went out there to um, perform for A3C Festival. And my man was a DJ, you know? He told me he was making music. I never really took it as seriously because mm -hmm. I never heard his beats. And he's living in Japan right now from California. Right. And he sent me some music over, and I just always like to add my own production right, or anything. Right, right. So, what, like, being, being the, the artist and the producer, I know every producer is like, you know, they're, 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 the strings is crazy, yeah. the 808 eight, eight is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, what is your, like, signature, signature thing, like, that people can hear a beat and be like, oh, that's what he did that, he was on that. Um, if it's not my tag, which is, hey, yo, Swayze, what are we yeah. doing? Or <laughs> Swayze on the beat. To be honest, it's probably my my melodies. You know, like I'm 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 a piano fanatic. You know, right. I love I listen to piano mm. music. I'm all conscious and thoughtful and all that symphonies, orchestras, all that. I love that yeah, shit. I'm getting, so it's crazy. I'm getting back in. Yeah. Low key, I didn't tell nobody, but like I'm, I'm to getting back into like playing the piano. 2018. You know what I'm saying? It's 2018, man. I'm, I'm gonna show you my you music. Gotta book. Do I'm gonna show you my music. I'm gonna show you my music after this. I'm gonna show you like. But um. So you said the, the melodies, are set, that's the melodies, like that's signature It's thing. what catches the ear first. Right. The beat is going to knock that home run ball, whatever it may be, knock it out the park. But that melody is what makes you give it that 30 seconds of listening time. Right. That 15 seconds of attention. You know what I'm saying? Right. And if a beat come off, usually nowadays there's so much different type of production from trap to trap pop to hip hop to R&B, acoustic, all the alternative. Somebody that's gonna listen to your song for the first time is gonna either give you 15 or 30 seconds of listening time. And I'm trying to dominate and captivate your attention to make you listen 
to the whole song, my whole production. Is that why the songs are a little bit shorter? Correct. Mm. Correct. I know for a fact the tension spans nowadays. <laughs> shit, boy, it's getting harder. It's getting okay. harder. You know, you get that a message. Sense. Oh, hold up. Let me text this person. And then your oh, song is gone. That's it. And then they going right back to the artists that already made it. Mm -hmm. Now, shout out to all the artists that made it because y'all put in work. But you know, I'm local. Mm -hmm. I'm not as big as a, a as a Drake or as a Migos or a J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar. But I could definitely tell you my versatility is there because I'm producing my own music. I'm engineering myself. Mm -hmm. I'm recording myself in my room with no phone pads and nothing. You know, so I'm trying to cancel out all that background noise to give you guys the full production, man, the best that I can make it, you know? Um, so yeah, definitely my signature would be the melodies. I am big on piano. You're gonna always hear piano. And um, the funny thing is, to be completely honest, every beat that I make is from piano. Really? Yeah, so I start from piano, create my melody, whatever it may be, and then switch the sound. Then I find my sound, which sounds that I want to put together. And then by me hearing, let's say I, I make a flute. Right. Flutes and pianos go really well together. Right. If you listen to symphonies, orchestras, flutes, pianos, and then violins. Now you have cellos. You know what right. I'm saying? That's all an orchestrated or a piece. I'm I'm basically saying, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So I start with piano as a very very bass. Find my chords out, and I don't know how to read music, so I'm listening. Really? Yeah, I don't know how to read music, okay, so man. Yeah, so, you, so you got a little, you yeah. got a little thing on it. Yeah, it, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of more of a gift, you know. It's a, it's a talent, I would say, that God blessed me with. So thank you to Him. Um, but yeah, I don't know how to read music, so it does, it does challenge me in the studio because sometimes I'll have something on my mind like, damn, I really want to hear this, I really want to, and I just don't know. Mm -hmm. But that's the time that I'm putting behind my own production of finding out which keys is going along, which if it's a circle of fifths or whatever it may be, chords diminished, circle augmented. This. Oh man, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's just it gets it gets crazy. And I never know what lo what notes I be playing, man. Right. That shit just sounds good, you know? I just like, okay, I fucks with this. We might have to work together. We gonna Absolutely. work, work with Y'all gonna, gonna see some shit. Y'all gonna see some shit. I got you. I got you. So I'm um, talking about what's eight, 2018 just started we second month of the year. Yep. What are we expecting? More visuals I'm sure, more Absolutely. projects. Absolutely. Actually, to be completely honest, um, I already made another single. Mm -hmm. I'm a man that just likes to put things out, right. you know. I, in a sense, it may not be right now um, the whole marketable scheme because I'm not sitting on one project for a long right. period of time putting and effort putting effort. It. But I realize I need leverage. Leverage is the key to anything. Mm -hmm. You can't go into any place and say, hey, hire me if you don't have either what they're looking for yeah. or if you don't have leverage. Right. By me putting all my music out, that's building my leverage. Mm -hmm. Cause then if I get signed, got a I got a whole so bunch of catalog, a whole different, back and you know what I'm saying? To. And build and actually realize what type of artist I am and what style of music I fall under. And I could definitely guarantee you it's going to be hard because my whole mission mm -hmm. is to not fit in any genre. Right. You know, I don't want to be categorized as hip hop only, trap rapper, okay. J. Cole, Migos, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like I, I want to be classified as an artist. I'm here to entertain. I'm here to perform. I'm here to give you guys the best that I could give. Mm -hmm. And you're going to just enjoy the journey and enjoy the road. You know, see well, how it all I think it's like a lot more like, like back in the day, it was yeah. more like distinct. Like I rap, I do this, I do that. Why is it like, even though that there's a bunch of like sub genres, why do you think it's more like, it's just more of like what artists, they, they don't want to categorize themselves anymore as something mm -hmm. specific. Okay. Um, I think honestly because it's getting harder out there, you know, it's, it's definitely bigger competition. You can't tell me, one man to another man, that your idea is, is better than mine, you know? Until you see that, until you hear that or see it on paper, that's when you could either give your opinionated statement on, damn, this is fire or this is not fire. Right. Now, when it comes to an artist, the artist usually gets the beats from a producer. The artist is going to get this beat that they did not create themselves. They didn't put the time behind. They don't have that much passion or love for that beat, mm -hmm. but they're trying to write lyrics to kind of make somebody move in that direction or, you know, affect or feel, feel somebody out, right. at least through the music or the right. lyrics that they're writing. So, I mean, as far as right now, you got Party Next Door, right. you know, who came in and just destroyed the game. He was making his own beats, his own production. Mm -hmm. You know, you have Bryson Tiller, his whole story 
he made don't in college. Never even supported him. Never even really cared never for him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then his off, homie, so <laughs> his homie invested in it. Yeah. You know, gave him, I believe it was $5,000 to create this full production. Right. And then his music started branching out through college. Mm -hmm. And he was just still like, nah, man. I'm not really fucks with it. And his homie's like, nah, bro. I'm telling you, everybody's liking it. Everybody's liking it. And then that's when he realized the production that he put in or whatever it may be, is actually resonating with everybody else, you know, it's, it's spreading out. So it's definitely harder to label yourself as just an artist right now when everyone has such a creative mind, a creative input into what they want to create, you right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. So to say you're just an artist, you're going to be getting just beats that you may not like yeah. or you may like, you know, you, you, you can't really fix it by then. I could fix my own beats. I could alter it. Right, right, right. I could go so and say, you know get what? Get a rap beat. Yeah. You alter it. Exactly. Add a little, make it exactly. Little. And it's all based off a of feeling too. Right. If I'm listening, let's just say hypothetically, I'm listening to a J Cole, and that influenced me, and it literally made me want to make a song. The next production I might make is a smoother R&B style, or I might find a sample, mm -hmm. you know, try to sample something, mm -hmm. or recreate that. Now, if I was to tell a producer, hey, I want a J Cole type beat. The man might give me a DMX type beat thinking to him, it's a J. Cole type beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You never know. At least for me, I do know. You yeah. feel me? I know what I want to hear. I know what I want to create. And I just create it, man. You know? Create. Yeah. Create. 20, 2017, that was the word. But now yeah. 2018, we got to create more. Absolutely. That's what the thing is. Absolutely. Let them know where they can find you Um. Listen to the music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Work Absolutely. with you because I'm pretty sure, you know, so you yeah. can work with other artists and stuff like that. So, I mean... No, nah, not really, not really, not really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be honest, my name is Swayze. Swayze by Swayze, you can find me. S W A Z E B Y S W A Z E. No space, no underscores. All uh, one word, you know. Um, I'm an artist and I'm a producer as well. You know, your boy's located in Broward County, so if you need me, definitely DM me or email me. I have my email that's already assigned to my Instagram. Mm -hmm. My Instagram and my Twitter handle, of course, is the same. Swayze by Swayze. And my Snapchat is a little different. It's Cali Sways, because I'm trying to create my own strain of weed. Oh, you know, oh, weed really? is, is business now, you know? So yeah. if you're investing in either cryptocurrency or investing in the whole stocks of marijuana, I want to create my own strain like, yeah. at one point in time in my career, you know? So Cali Sways, y'all be aware of that, man. You know? Y'all going to be getting high off that Cali Sways. Ain't, it, right. ain't it though? Ain't it definitely, though? definitely. Well, it's been another episode of the League Sways. Love, man. love. Stay cool.